Hey, South Jersey, I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci at Atlantic City or National Airport. On the mainland, we got up to 69 degrees today on a very nice day in South Jersey. Well above our average high of 58. Go over to Atlantic City Marina. Not much of a difference with our temperatures here. No sea breeze today as that northwesterly wind kicked that cold wind to the curb. As a result, we were a dozen degrees above average. Let's take a look at our satellite on our Monday evening. We got this area of swirling low pressure here just around Nova Scotia, bringing actually a cloudy and showery day into parts of New England. However, for us, we're going to be watching this system here. It's actually a stationary front that is actually going to move just a little bit, but this will ride to the south and east as we go into the evening tonight. You see a couple of showers on our radar, but watch what happens as we go forward into the later part of the night. This is now 3 a.m. getting into 4 a.m. Yeah, you could see a shower, but I'm going to say by and large, we are dry here in South Jersey. And I'll say at least 95% of you are going to be all dry as we go into the overnight hours here. Let's take a look at our Monday night temperatures. We're going to be in the mid 40s for lows, just about five degrees above average for this time of year. Clouding up as we go into the night and likely dry from some kind of shower after two o'clock. Then we look at the cloud cover, which you're seeing in the blues. That's going to go away. Plenty of sunshine as we go into our Tuesday and actually Tuesday going to be pretty similar to what we had on Monday. That means loads of sunshine and very dry here. In fact, humidity is only around 30 to 35 percent. And this is for two o'clock in the afternoon. Most places are going to be lower than that at some parts of the day. And that's why there's the enhanced risk for wildfires as we go into the day on Tuesday. We'll have low humidity, a little bit of a gusty wind here. Not as gusty as where we were on Monday, though, and very dry find fuels or the brush or the grass that's on the ground. Taking a look at our Tuesday morning temperatures rising through the 50s here as we go into the shore and the mainland northwesterly wind not as breezy as it was on our Monday here and as we go into the day increasing sunshine temperatures in the 60s everywhere we do look to develop a sea breeze out the shore as the winds are not as strong as they were on Monday here. Let's take a look at that pollen count too because if you go to our website pressofac.com slash weather we got the allergy forecast for you and it's not looking good especially if you're allergic to trees and pollen we have moderate pollen risk for trees as we go into the day on tuesday and in tuesday night going to do it all over again in terms of our conditions compared to monday night clouding up as we go into the evening and then after midnight really after two o'clock there'll be a couple of showers that pass around i do believe the potential for rain is greater on tuesday night than monday night still though we're only talking about isolated showers tuesday night that continue into early wednesday and then we're done here here's a look at what's happening later in the week high pressure is going away but we'll be staying in New England. So it's going to feed in some drier air, but some showers will be moving in as we go into Friday. And I do believe our weekend, Friday, Saturday, and getting into Sunday will be pretty dark as well as, we'll say, pretty damp. But I don't think it's going to be all that wet. Let's take a look at what's going on here on the seven day. Friday will be some showers around, but also some sun too. Saturday is really a day of just fog and drizzle. I don't think we're seeing all that much rain falling from the sky. Sunday will be the day where we see the periods of rain, but even still, I don't think it's a washout. Really the only thing uh, of note to really talk about over the weekend, besides the rain, is temperatures fall a little bit back, more to seasonable levels instead of being above average as it was on Monday and will be on Tuesday. Have a great night, everybody. We'll be back with you Tuesday morning with the latest in South Jersey weather however you can follow me on social media for all the latest south jersey weather and if you go to our website pressofac.com weather you can see the 2021 allergy forecast